loves, welcome back to another video. I'm Ashley and today this is going to be my moving vlog. If you haven't seen the update already, I will leave a link to the video down below explaining everything, but I am moving to Scotland and I figured I would try and do one big moving vlog. I don't know how it's going to go because I am really bad at vlogging while I'm particularly busy, but at the time that I'm starting this, I'm just under two weeks away from moving and the process has already begun. I have begun packing up all my things and my house is pretty much like half empty, half chaos, <laughs> which is particularly interesting state to be living in for two weeks but all of my books have already been packed away this is the biggest part of my packing because I do have over 700 books so that has already been done they are already packed away into many 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 boxes and I have also started actually packing away the decor as you can see behind me there isn't anything on the walls or anything because I've taken it all down and so things are very much already in progress so the actual process that I'm going through is a little bit different because I currently live five hours away from where I'm going to be living and so what I'm doing is packing up all of my things and then removal men are going to take my furniture away ahead of time about three days before I myself go up so I need to make sure that I have enough things to kind of keep with me for that random little in-between period but also pack up my stuff in a way that makes it easier for them to do it without me there. <laughs> it is going to be a really weird time when I just send my furniture off without me but it was the easiest way to go about doing this and so that is what I am preparing for. It's really strange to see this place emptying because this has been my home since I was about three years old or something. It's my childhood home. I've been here 20 years. I have never moved. Even the first three years of my life, I was on the same road and we just moved into a different house. So I've never left the street and now I'm going to a different country. <laughs> Go hard or go home, I guess, but I am excited and we'll just see where the process takes us. I mean, it's going to take me to Scotland, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Sunday 13th? I think it's Sunday the 13th. I can't remember what time is anymore, but I am in the final processes of packing up everything. So with today being a Sunday, I am just dedicating today to packing. Well, I am first gonna go for a walk and then I'm going to come home and just pack. I'm hoping to finish up the final bits and pieces. Like everything I have to pack now is just miscellaneous things that I can't really categorize into boxes and you know, stuff that I'm just gonna have to try and fit in. I'm hoping I don't have to buy more boxes, but we shall see <laughs> what happens. But I just wanted to give an update because on Friday, I actually had a few friends go around to my flat because they are much closer than I am. They got my keys for me and they showed me around my flat on FaceTime and I just, I cried. <laughs> um, there is so many more positives to the flat than I even knew about. For instance, there is a shared garden and the actual stair of the building. It's just really nice. There are plants right outside my flat and it's all just really bright and airy. The furniture that I have is not that bad. There were certain things that I thought I'd have and just kind of have to deal with, but that is not the case. <laughs> they have been replaced since the video that they showed me initially. So I'm thrilled. I'm absolutely thrilled. I was really anxious about the fact that I hadn't seen it in person. And so I was just like, what if I turn up and just don't like it as much as I thought I would? But judging from the tour that my friends gave me, I am going to love it even more. So I'm really, really excited. We're now under a week until I move. It's only a few days until my furniture is sent ahead of me via the removal men, so I need to pack up. Hello, lovely people. We are now on Friday, the day before I moved to Scotland. <laughs> and my house is pretty much completely empty. Not entirely, but it's empty of everything that I am taking with me to Scotland. The removal men came on Wednesday. So all of my furniture and belongings and everything has gone. It's officially in Scotland. So it's just me left to 
to move myself now, um, which is a very bizarre feeling knowing that everything I own is currently in Scotland. Today is just a day of waiting, <laughs> waiting for tomorrow to come, waiting for things to happen basically. My Wi-Fi has been cut off so I don't really have too much to do. I do have my books but I just feel too unsettled to actually sit and read. So I think what I'm actually going to do is go for a walk go for a last walk around the nearby park because I do love that place and it's where I spent a whole lot of my childhood. So even though it is pretty rainy, I am just going to, you know, put a coat on and grab an umbrella and go for a walk. I don't have to show you guys because it's not part of the moving process, but I'm really struggling to figure out what to film and what to not film because I've got a very passive moving process so far. Like I haven't actually done much yet. It's all been removal and sorting stuff and, you know, everything's being sorted in terms of swapping things over. It's not until tomorrow that I'm actually on the move and doing things to film, but I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> I will say though, I have been particularly enjoying the acoustics of empty rooms. <laughs> If you guys know me at all, you know that I love singing and so I've just spent so much time singing while I've got all of these echoey walls. It's bringing me great joy and weirdly, I don't feel too anxious. Like I am anxious, it's there in the background, but I think I'm just, I don't think my brain is processing that it's happening. It did a little bit on Wednesday when, you know, the removal member come in and I could see active progression being made. But otherwise, because I'm just sat here waiting, I'm like, is anything happening? <laughs> so I don't think I'm going to actually believe it until I'm on the way tomorrow, but we'll see, we'll see. Maybe it'll kick in tonight. I'm just waiting for it to kick in because I'm a very anxious person. So I've been expecting a full on meltdown, but it's just not been happening. I'm grateful for it, but I'm just like <laughs> suspicious. <laughs> but I do have to say, I feel pretty glad for that so far because today I really wasn't looking forward to it. I thought that I would just be a bundle of anxious illness <laughs> because my anxiety does tend to come out in physical forms like shaking and feeling sick and nothing fun so I'm really glad that that's not coming out um that's not to say that it's not there like I am very clearly anxious but we're just kind of disbelieving I think at the minute um don't know at what point it will kick in but I guess we'll see it is officially moving day I still don't believe it <laughs> I'm wondering at what point I will, but um, seems to be taking a while to kick in. But we're currently around 9am in about an hour's time, my dad will be arriving so that we can pack up the van for the stuff that I've kept with me. And then we will be setting off. We'll be going into the unknown, apart from not that unknown because I've been before, but we shall be undertaking the five hour journey and I will officially live in Edinburgh. <laughs> it's really sweet because the neighbours have just said that they're going to come outside and wave me off. So yeah, I am just finishing up the final few bits of packing down there, just adding in toiletries and stuff that I used this morning. So yeah, and then it's just a waiting game until I leave. <laughs> It's been a minute since the last time we talked Let's catch up on some things I shouldn't involve You judging me for all the things I would say But never mind, it's not like you'd ever change They always said you were the talkative type But that's not the way that I would describe Those quiet nights when we had nothing to say But never mind, it's not like you'd ever change First you pull me closer Just to push me further Emotion Coaster, coaster Then you take me higher Just to end up lower Motion roller coaster, coaster I'm in Edinburgh, I'm in my flat Everything is chaotic and I don't quite know what I'm doing. It's about 8 p.m. My dad has gone to his hotel for the night. I have taken a trip to Tesco, which was very scary. <laughs> I feel like everybody knows that I'm lost. <laughs> it was the most disorienting trip to Tesco I've ever done in my life. I just grabbed really random things, mainly cleaning products because I do want to clean a few things before I start putting stuff away, but my head's a little bit fuzzy. I think it could just be from like lack of food and stuff, which I now do have in the kitchen. But yeah, I need to start packing stuff away because if I show you, this is currently the situation. 
all of my books are on my bed. So I need to get them off. Um, I do have my bookcases here, but they don't yet have the shelves in. So I think one of my first tasks will be to get most of the books just off my bed. So I think the shelves need to be one of the first things because that's the thing I have the most need for storage. So yeah, but we made it. And this is my new home. <laughs> I am very much not looking forward to sorting all of this though. Fun times, fun times. This is currently my living room situation. <laughs> um, so the TV is where it's gonna be. And so is that chair. We have the sofa here, which is just covered in stuff. And then all of the boxes. So much to be done. The sky was as blue as I remembered, I looked to see if you were out there waving to me from your cushioned chair. But all I could see was a terrible. to spend my first night here and I actually had a really good sleep. I don't know if it's because I was so tired <laughs> and I did end up feeling a little bit ill last night but we're here and I had a wonderful sleep and this is where I got up to yesterday with the shelves. I just started, <laughs> it started out well and then I realised how many books I have and I needed to get them all off my bed because I'd put all the boxes actually on the bed so I needed to get them off as soon as possible and also like unpack my suitcase and start figuring out all of the normal stuff that isn't books so I just kind of gave up and started allocating shelves to what books are going where and just stacking them on there for now because they can be sorted later so I am about to pop to the supermarket because I don't have like bin bags and really mundane things like that so I'm gonna go and get stuff like that before my dad comes back round and he's gonna help me sort out a few of the technical things like just setting up the tv and stuff like that and then I think we're gonna have a bit of a wander around nearby and see what's going on possibly head into the city centre and see what that's like before my dad heads home so yeah just thought I would let you know how the first morning is going I feel really good I had a really lovely morning actually in terms of okay stand in front of that window's too bright <laughs> I had a really lovely morning because I woke up at around 7am which I've been doing pretty often recently I don't know why it's just a thing that's happened but I'm not going to complain about it so I woke up at 7 and then just unearthed my one reading chair in the living room, flung open the windows and just listened to the morning noise while having a coffee and I just sat there for about an hour enjoying it. I can imagine that's something I'll be doing often. I love the windows here, absolutely love them. They are huge and I can open them all the way and it's just, oh, I love it. So yeah, rough to a good start. So after the morning with my dad, he did of course drive home 
and so in the afternoon I decided to do just a little bit more exploring and came across this kind of nature woodlandy type walk. It's actually a river walk but this runs pretty much all the way through Edinburgh and I found one of the pathways that led onto it so I walked through there for a while and then in the evening I came back to unpacking and so my main task for this evening was to unpack my clothing and also just continue on with the bookcases. Make tea. It is now Tuesday and since I last left you I have actually made quite a bit of progress on the flat. I can't say that everything's unpacked but there are small corners in the flat that are starting to come together and I can see how it's going to look when I'm done but I'll show you that later on because I do still need to flat pack some boxes so you just can't really see it properly right now but I can't remember if I said before but I'm kind of splitting my days between exploring Edinburgh and sorting out the flat so I have actually booked in to go to the National Portrait Gallery around midday so it's about 10 o'clock now maybe so I'm going to head out and go to the city centre have a wander around before going there and yeah just do some solo exploring so I'll try to bring you along with me since this is pretty much what my first week of moving is partially exploring partially sawing the flat so yeah I'm excited <laughs> wrap up this moving vlog. I have absolutely no idea what kind of content I've got. <laughs> I feel like it's been more of a moving slash first week in Edinburgh vlog, although I did stop vlogging about halfway through the week because 
I just didn't really know what I was doing. I was getting acquainted with Edinburgh and just kind of getting my feet on the ground, getting my bearings of the city and just figuring out what's where. Since I did have this week off work, I have done a lot of exploring because I know that a lot of it will have to be reserved for weekends when I go back to work tomorrow. With me going back to work tomorrow, I feel like this is quite a good place to wrap up with the vlog. So I guess a kind of summary of the process. I feel incredibly lucky with the process that I had because I feel like I had such an easy moving process. And considering I moved quite far away, technically to a different country, it was just weirdly easy, both in terms of mentally and the whole process of like settling into a city when I don't know my way around it and stuff, but also the actual logistics of it. I think because a lot of the things were done ahead of time and I did plan quite far in advance, I just felt very prepared and so that really helped with me and luckily I did have plenty of people around to help. I was incredibly lucky to have my dad help me in actually coming up here and friends around in Edinburgh to actually help me kind of see what's around and even help with some of the actual logistics of things again when it comes to like visiting places for furniture or well not furniture but you know decorations and just random stuff like that. I keep saying it over and over again but I just from the second I arrived felt like I was at home. That was a feeling I had back when I visited in 2017 to 2018 and that feeling definitely has returned. I haven't panicked for a second which is really like mind-blowing to me because I used to have full-on so I used to have agoraphobia I don't know if I've mentioned this but I used to have agoraphobia so so bad and I used to literally have a panic attack if I left the end of my street and now I've just come here and I haven't had any kind of panic attack anxiety attack I haven't cried or worried or felt like I made the wrong decision in any way shape or form and I feel so so thankful for that because I thought it would be a really hard transition and it just feels normal everything I've done feels completely normal. Even when I've been lost in the streets while exploring, I haven't panicked because I'm lost. I've just gone, I'll find my way. And it's, I've never experienced that before. I'm kind of just like, is this what normal people's brains work like? Wow. <laughs> it's really bizarre but in the best way possible. Again, it hasn't been perfect. There are still things I need to fix with the flat and you know, I'm not showing you around it yet because I haven't finished and I want to be happy before I kind of show everything online. But I think this has been a really fortunate experience in terms of things just worked out really well for me when I needed them to, now I'm here. <laughs> So yes, it's going to be very, very strange actually starting work again tomorrow and going on with my usual like life routine of having the nine to five job and then doing content creation and working back into a normal routine and knowing that this is it now, like this is my life. I actually live here. I don't have a train booked next week to go back home. This is it. I'm here. I'm looking forward to it and I don't know, I just... Feel really good. I feel like that's a really positive end to the movie vlog. So I do want to thank you all for the patience because I know this is gonna go up later than I planned because while nothing's gone like drastically wrong or anything there have been delays with wi-fi that has kind of pushed some plans back and I've been outside and explored every single day <laughs> since arriving so I have been very very tired in the whole exploring, unpacking, just figuring out everything. I really needed just that little bit of extra time to prepare this video and kind of get back on track with content creation. So thank you for bearing with me and I hope you enjoyed the moving vlog now that you've seen it. Weekly vlogs will come back soon. Not quite back on with the weekly vlogs yet, just because I still need to figure out my routine. As I said, I'm about to go back into the whole working routine. So I don't know when you'll actually see this video, but I might be into the swing of things by then. I think I'm actually going to have a little bit of a themed vlog that might be done over a couple of weeks, and then we'll get back into weekly vlogging as per usual. I imagine you'll be seeing lots of Edinburgh content in the future, and I'm very excited for that. <laughs> I am definitely an explorer. I love doing things every single weekend, so there's much more to come. With that, I will wrap up this video here. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then remember to leave a like and a comment so let me know that you're here. If you're not subscribed already, then please consider doing so. Down in the description box, you'll find a link to anything I've just mentioned, all of my social media and other bookish stuff as well. So be sure to check that out if you haven't already. But for now, I hope you have a lovely day and I shall see you next time with a new video. Bye. I haven't done that outro in so long. <laughs>